This DIY magical oil video will show you what I prepared for the super full blue moon in Pisces on August 30th, 2023. You can do this, however, on any full moon or whenever you really have the time to do so. Um, mine were made for psychic powers and intuition, and I also made a bonus one for luck and money. Gotta love those ingredients with multiple uses. I'll list the ingredients and items used and everything down below. I also made some moon water because it's super easy and it only happens, you know, once in a blue moon, so why not? Buying a lot of magical oils can be very pricey, so as a DIYer, um, you know, if you have the time and ingredients to do it yourself, go ahead and do it, which is, what is the worst that can happen if you burn herbs? As I said, you know, I'm doing this on the full moon, um, but you can really do this whenever you have the time, energy, and ingredients. I do suggest putting it out to collect the full moon energy when the time comes and you're able to do so. Um, just remember to bring it back in before the sun comes up. I listed the herbs and essential oils and their magical properties down in uh, the description. So if you want to see that, go ahead and look at that. Um, they all have other properties as well, but these are just the ones that I pinpointed for this recipe. I also don't really measure things. I just add what I feel like is right. Depending on how much you're making, obviously, if you just want to make a little tiny vial, don't use as much as I did. Usually, I just heat up the oil like on a low, and then once it gets warm, then I not, I mean, not boiling, okay? Uh, I mean, on low. Um, once it gets warm, then I will start adding in the herbs. I don't add in the essential oils yet. I wait until it's cooled before I do that. So again, just the herbs and, you know, the right amount that you feel like. That is my oil um, splash guard that I will be using to strain it. Okay, so once all the herbs are in there, stir it up and write out your own intentions and what you want to imbue this oil with. I could write up something for you, but I guarantee you it is not going to be as good as if you did it yourself. When I'm done, I pour it into this Pyrex container. You can see all the herbs in there. You could leave the herbs in it or not. For this one, I am straining it. And again, that's just a splash guard. It works really well because it's for oil and the herbs that are left over, I am actually saving for an offering for the fairies. Oh, when I was getting it all together and stirring it, I keep stirring it, okay? And until I get a really good aroma, I keep doing that while it's heated up. I mean, I guess I just don't measure time either. Okay, so with the spatula, I'm using it's silicone, made of silicone, so it's not gonna crush things down, and it will also get out some more of the oil. And it smelled so, so good. Okay, so there is my little jar for the fairies, and then I'm just left over with the oil and all of the gunk is out of it. So I have it poured into this Pyrex and then I start adding in the essential oils. So again, I don't measure anything and I just, you know, shake it out until I feel like I should be done. There are some that I want to be more potent in an oil, I will do more shakes. Or if I like the smell of one more, um, I really like the smell of oranges and cinnamon, so I added a lot of that. The marjoram is also really big for me for um, dream work and divination and psychic powers, so I added a lot of that. Lavender, you can't go wrong with, I don't feel like, unless you're allergic to it or something. 
Um, so I added in a lot of that. And as you saw, I did add in the herb and the essential oil for lavender. I mean, I grew up in Florida, so orange groves, it just reminds me of home. So I, I had to add in a lot of that. Okay, so then you just want to stir it and make sure that it's all in there really good. And by now it smells freaking amazing. And after you're done stirring, then you can get creative and add in some mica powder. So these are some that I have that are just either straight color or they have like a glitter or color shifting effect and I hadn't used them before so I wasn't honestly sure how much to use so I kind of tested it and I liked this result I wasn't super fond of it so I didn't want to do my big jar with this um so I mixed up like a tealish blue color and some gold and it works really well, I think, for the luck um, and money one. So I just I just kept adding stuff to it, the mica powders, and it doesn't look so good in there. Um, it looks kind of galaxy-ish though, and in the bottle, it, it looks so cool. It's like liquid luck. And then you just pop your cork in and give it a shake and you're done. So one down. All right, so with the rest of the oils, this is the majority of it. Um, I wanted it to be like a bluish purple or like a royal blue purple color, uh, indigo-ish for the psychic powers and intuition. And so this is that teal mica and I really didn't know how much to use. So I just kept adding more and you know, you start really good. It takes a while. Um, if you're fancy and had some different kind of stir, that would probably work better than just a spoon, but you use what you have. So then I'm adding in this purple color and I didn't want it to get too dark, so I didn't add in very much. However, I could have added in, I could have added in more because, you know, why not? Oh, look at that, I added in some more. Isn't it so pretty though when it makes the color? Like that is a gorgeous blue. All right, I have the too much gene because I added in more um, of both colors this time because I wanted it to be really, really vibrant and not lose any of its um, effectiveness over, you know, like a year. And then I poured them into my containers here. They are glass. I added in a quartz crystal into the psychic powers oil and then I'm done um, creating it then after that I put them under the full moon in a safe location outside and I said my intentions and gave it energy again um, for each one and there's also my moon water um, I left it out until, you know, around the time I went to bed. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.